to a recent I-Team investigation after we first reported the city of Tampa was among thousands of targets of an elaborate hacking operation. President Joe Biden taking action today against those believed to be responsible. The president just wrapping up his comments on his next steps. And I-Team investigator Adam Walser bringing us tonight's update. President Biden issued an executive order sanctioning Russia for its role in the solar winds hack. That operation targeted some of the nation's most critical computer networks, including those serving the city of Tampa. President Biden signed an executive order Thursday holding the Russian Federation accountable for efforts to engage in and facilitate malicious cyber-enabled activities against the United States. It was in response to the months-long solar winds hack which affected more than 18,000 customers of SolarWind software, including most Fortune 500 companies, government agencies, hospitals, universities, and even the city of Tampa. We don't know how much was stolen and compromised yet, so the fallout uh, remains to be seen. Cybersecurity expert Scott Schober says hackers used a SolarWind software update to breach customers' firewalls, creating backdoors into their networks. He says teams of thousands of hackers then could access critical infrastructure and financial data. For an attack like that, it, it's probably one of the most sophisticated type of attacks where they'll go to that trouble and go to that length. And it tells you it involves the most sophisticated hackers. And that's probably why this will be dubbed one of the, the largest hacks or breaches ever. The FBI, the CIA, and other security agencies said in a joint statement the attack was likely Russian in origin. Now President Biden is expelling 10 Russian diplomats, blocking certain Russian financial transactions, and imposing sanctions against Russian technology companies believed to be involved. It's not clear if or how city residents may have been affected by the hack. A spokesperson says it's the city's policy not to comment on security planning or response efforts. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.